Tonight, we're hearing for the first time from a mother shot in a violent attack that killed her 19 year old daughter and injured her four year old grandson. Her daughter's ex boyfriend is charged in that attack. This mom wants to raise awareness. She hopes her message can prevent other families from experiencing a tragedy like this. Caitlin. Stacy Ahmed says she never knew anything was wrong. She thought her daughter Shai had broken up with Carl Jordan weeks ago and that it was over. She was surprised to see him at her house last Wednesday, but says initially her daughter and grandson seemed fine. This is my little girl. She still likes stuffed animals, you know, this was on her bed. Stacy Ahmed says she and her daughter Cheyenne Harvey were close. This was my best friend. She didn't change the color of her hair or pick the color of her fingernails at the salon without videoing me. But she says her daughter never told her that Carl Jordan had allegedly been stalking her since they broke up. She says Shy told friends he had been abusive. But Stacy says she didn't realize that until she saw him with a gun in their home last Wednesday. I saw the flash of light in her bedroom window. She says she ran to her daughter's room and scooped up her four-year-old grandson to escape. But Jordan came after her. And he lowered the gun looking at me. And he shot, he shot my boo boo. According to a police report, four year old Jax was shot in the shoulder, Stacy in the hip, but she says it didn't stop her from protecting her grandson. I was crawling and he was just walking. He wouldn't, he wasn't running. He wasn't saying nothing. She says Jordan only left when he ran out of bullets. Police say from there he carjacked a vehicle and shot a woman outside a Waffle House down the street before he was arrested. Stacy's daughter died soon after. I was her mama. That was my one job was to protect her. She died 10 feet behind me. She says her only comfort was from Clayton County Police Officer Theo Williams, who told her he stayed with Shy until the end, as Stacy and her grandson were treated for their injuries. He was the first on the scene, and he held my baby's hand and he prayed over her. She says she'll never be able to thank Officer Williams enough for all of the comfort he brought to their family during Shai's final moments. What an incredible officer, Caitlin, and a really important story about domestic violence and supporting those who might be victims here. Had there been any indication before of violence in the relationship? No, and she says Shai never told her anything about the abuse. She's encouraging other families to really listen to their children about their relationships. She says she never would have guessed her daughter was the victim of domestic violence. Kaylin, thanks a lot. If you or someone you know needs help, contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline 1-800-799-7233. It's free, it's available 24 hours a day. Or if you don't feel safe making a telephone call and talking, you can go to thehotline.org.